Hi, Hugo Reed. I'm back to read for you. Raiders saying hello, howdy, hi to you too. I'm going to scoot him over. The book we're going to read today is Caterpillar to Butterfly. The author is Bobby Coleman. If you're looking for online nonfiction books that are good, hers are I've all of them that I've ever seen by her are really good. So that would be a good author to look for when you're looking up books. Oops, sorry, Raider. <laughs> A bump. Caterpillar to butterfly. Gives you a table of contents. Butterflies are insects. Butterflies are insect. An insect is a small animal with six legs. It has three body parts. The head, the thorax, the abdomen. Butterflies also have two feelers called antenna. Some insects cannot fly, but butterflies have wings for flying. So the antenna is on the head, showing the head, the thorax, and the abdomen. Butterflies have four wings, and the legs and the wings join together on the thorax. So I thought that was interesting when I read it through a minute ago. I think of butterflies as having two wings, which obviously I was wrong. They, those are separate parts, so they have four wings. Like I said, you always learn something new in nonfiction. Butterflies have big eyes. They can see colors and flowers that we cannot see. Butterflies drink nectar. Nectar is the sweet liquid found in flowers. They suck the nectar up with a proboscis. A proboscis is like a long straw. So in this picture, it's showing. Here's the proboscis. So it's showing, here's their antenna. Their proboscis is a separate thing. And then it's showing this legs. Here's another picture of the proboscis. It says when a butterfly is not using the proboscis, the proboscis is curled up. So see how it's in that little circle there? In that one, it's all curled up. Proboscis, big word. More about butterflies. There are many thousands of kinds of butterflies. Butterflies live all over the world, but they cannot live in very cold places. They are cold-blooded animals. Cold-blooded animals cannot make, their own, make heat inside their bodies. Butterflies warm their bodies in the sun. A lot of really pretty ones on that page, aren't there? There's some different ones. A butterfly has four wings. Its wings are covered with scales. Scales give the wings their color. Butterflies also have tiny hairs all over their bodies. So, can you see that picture close up of the scales? They're pretty awesome. So, it talks a little bit later about the difference between moths and butterflies, but it's interesting that it's saying they have tiny hairs all over their but all over their bodies. Because I always thought one of the differences was moths are furry, which I think they are, and it talks about this, but there are some hairs on a butterfly too, which I thought was interesting. Butterflies or moths? Well, here we go. Just what I was talking about. Turn your camera here a bit. Moths are like butterflies. They're insects too. Their lives are similar to the lives of butterflies. Butterflies and moths are different in a few ways. However, these pictures show you how you can tell which is which. Butterflies fold their wings above their bodies while they rest. Clear out there. Butterflies fly during the day and sleep at night. Butterflies have antennas with little clubs at the end. So you see how that has kind of a little ball type thing at the end. It's called the club. This butterfly is a peacock butterfly. How appropriate for you to read. Okay, then they talk about moths. How do moths look? Moths are not as colorful as butterflies. They have thick, furry bodies. Their antenna do not have clubs like the antenna of the butterflies. Moths look for food at night. They keep their wings open while they're resting. So here's it's resting and the wings are open. This one's resting, wings are up above its body. And you can see on this one, they don't have that little ball on the end of their antenna that they talked about, the club. So there's some ways you can tell. It's a pretty moth though, isn't it? 
from egg to adult. Butterflies are beautiful, but they did not always look that way. Butterflies start out inside eggs. Their bodies go through big changes. These changes are part of the life cycle. The life cycle of a butterfly has four stages or parts. They are an egg, a larva, a pupa, and an adult. This is number one. A female adult black swallow tail butterfly is laying eggs on a plant. The eggs come from inside her body. The tiny eggs are pale yellow. Can you see them? They are tiny, tiny right there at the end of that little arrow. Number two, a larva hatches or comes out of the egg. The larva is called a caterpillar. Number three, the caterpillar makes a case. It is now called a pupa. You guys have learned that, I know. The pupa, this number four, the pupa changes into a beautiful black swallowtail butterfly. This is the adult stage. So that stage, we saw all four stages there. One, two, three, four. Butterfly eggs. Some butterflies lay one egg under a plant leaf. Some butterflies lay eggs on top of leaves. Giant swallowtail butterfly has laid a bunch of orange eggs on top of this leaf. So that's what we're looking at there. This butterfly is laying egg, the eggs under a leaf. Little tiny eggs. This butterfly lays white eggs inside the curled leaves of a plant. You have to look carefully. You see the little tiny white balls in there? They have them pointed out with the little white points. The eggs hatch. These pictures show an egg laid by a monarch butterfly. A caterpillar has grown inside the egg. After a few days, the caterpillar hatches. It chews its way out of its eggshell and then eats its eggshell. The eggshell helps the caterpillar grow. So this is the monarch hatching. This is the caterpillar wiggling out of the eggshell. It is almost all the way out. It looks like a shell, like a beach shell, doesn't it? A seashell. The eggshell is the caterpillar's first food. It's pretty amazing. The caterpillar feels its way with its tentacles. It eats and eats and grows quickly. Monarch caterpillars eat only the leaves of milkweed plants. As the caterpillar grows, the skin does not grow with its body. It gets too tight. The caterpillar molts or sheds its skin. It molts four times. Each time it molts, the caterpillar eats its old skin. Ooh, I think I'm glad I'm not a caterpillar, but it's pretty amazing that their caterpillar, that their skin has um, vitamins or nutrition for them in it. That's amazing creation. So just think if every time you got bigger, like when you needed new clothes, you'd have to get a new skin too because you'd gotten bigger. Crazy. Caterpillar bodies. Caterpillar bodies are very different from butterfly bodies. A butterfly has six legs, but a caterpillar has many more legs. Only the first six legs of the caterpillar are true legs. They are joined to the caterpillar's thorax. The other 10 legs are just stumps called prolegs. Prolegs help a caterpillar climb and hang on to plants. The prolegs are on a caterpillar's abdomen. Ah, new fact, didn't know. This says someone <laughs> has put shoes on this caterpillar, but are the shoes on its true legs? Nope, right? Those are the pro legs in the back. The true legs are the front ones, aren't they? Do you think they really did that or do you think that's photoshopped? I'm thinking it's photoshopped. What do you think? Here it's showing thorax, abdomen, Spherical. Hmm, I bet it'll tell us about that. Eyes, jaws, head. Caterpillars breathe through tiny holes called spiracles. Some caterpillars are covered with spiracles or stiff hairs. 
The spines of, the, of some caterpillars can cause painful stings when touched. The spines of this caterpillar are growing out of small blue knobs called tubercles. Now it's showing us again up close a little bit. Here's the spheres where they're growing. Here's tubercles. Wow, look how in, how magnified that is. You can see its head and it looks like its jaws. Staying safe. Caterpillars do not look anything like butterflies. They do not look like one another either. Caterpillars can have different shapes and colors. They also have different patterns on their bodies. Patterns are made up of colors and shapes that repeat. Colors, shapes, and patterns help caterpillars hide from their predators. Predators are the animals that eat other animals. You guys know that. Does this caterpillar have big eyes? No, it has eye spots. Eye spots are not real eyes. They are patterns that make caterpillars look different, I'm sorry, bigger and scarier to predators. So those aren't really how big its eyes are, but it makes it look like that so that other predators aren't as apt to come up and eat them. Slinky and yucky. The osmaterium or orange horns of a swallowtail of swallowtail caterpillars have a terrible smell. The stripes of the monarch caterpillar warn predators that this caterpillar tastes very bad. Predators do not want to eat animals that smell or taste bad. The purple emperor caterpillar is a leaf shaped. The leaf shape helps the caterpillar hide from predators. Wow, that's crazy. I haven't seen that one before. So here is the monarch caterpillar that talked, it was striped. And this is the Western Swallowtail caterpillar. It said that it had the osmaterium, a little antenna, not antenna, what did they call those? Horns that smell bad. And then look at that, that's the purple emperor caterpillar. I have never seen one of those. It does look like a leaf. Do you see its body here? No. What do you think, you guys? This looks like it's antenna. I don't know. I'm going to have to look that one up because I'd like to see another picture of it. So you might want to look for purple emperor caterpillar. That would be a cool one to see. Big changes. The caterpillar grows and molts four times. Then it finds a place to hang and molts one last time. So when it loses its skin, we talked about that, that's called molting. These pictures show a monarch caterpillar becoming a pupa, then a butterfly. First, the caterpillar turns its head from side to side to spin some silk. It attaches a silk button to the branch. So that's number two. So this was spinning, then this is attaching a silk button. Can you see that? That's number two. Where to? Silk button to the branch. The caterpillar hangs from the button and molts. A hard case called a chrysalis forms around its body. Inside the case, the caterpillar turns to liquid. So here's the chrysalis picture. The chrysalis protects the pupa. It becomes clear when the caterpillar has changed into a butterfly. This big change is called metamorphosis. The butterfly is now an adult. And number five, so we're to this one. The butterfly starts to come out of its case. Number six, it hangs from the chrysalis. Its wings are wet and weak. And number seven, look, you can see on that one and on this one, the, what was that called? The thing that sucks up the, I bet you already know it. I'm gonna have to look because I don't remember. What is it? Oh, the proboscis that sucks the nectar. You can see it curled up there. And you can really see the little clubs on the antenna pretty well there too. And then the last one, number seven, the butterfly flaps its wings to dry them out. It will soon fly away. Ooh, so cool. And this last page is match them up. Each caterpillar on this page will become a butterfly or a moth shown on the next page. 
have some fun matching the right pairs. So it says, here's number one. I'm gonna scoot you back a bit. So we can get all of it. It's still not there. Okay, we'll do it this way. So number one goes to a peacock butterfly. Remember that was this one. Okay. Number two. Oh, no, that's not. I thought maybe that was a leaf one again. That's an interesting one we haven't seen yet. That one is called a plain nawab butterfly, if I'm saying that right. Where's the plain nawab butterfly? Here it is. That's really interesting. I don't think I've ever seen one of those. A monarch butterfly, is, we learned that one, number three, right? There's the monarch. A luna moth is number four. So this one is not a butterfly, it's a moth. And there's the luna moth. I bet you can guess the last one. <laughs> I don't think that's really a... They wrote Sammy the Swallowtail. They're playing a joke on you. And then the last page talks about different words to know, things that they covered in the book. So, now that it's spring, maybe you can see some butterflies outside. So, have a good time looking. I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.